now let's talk about the next set of remedies which yes. is remedies for rela- good relationship yes. and the marriage yes. so basically relationship uh, is uh, affected using various planets in the chart so we always think that it is venus and if venus is corrupted there is an issue in the relationship it's ideally not so uh, from a relationship perspective mars is probably one of the most important uh, factors so you have seen uh, you know couples you know fighting uh, all throughout right it's not because of venus it's because of mars so mars is a logical planet and when there is too much of logic you try and bring in your point of view and the uh, spouse tries and brings his or her point of view there is always a uh, friction uh, related kind of a thing second important and the most important actually uh, factor in relationship is rahu so generally disrespect for your partner especially disrespect for women disrespect for men uh, so for example you know typical scenes like you know uh, if the rahu is reasonably bad in the chart you say that you know if at all your you know father was rich we would have had a better life and the girl says you know uh, with my father's money i can buy your entire uh, Property. Uh, property kind of a thing so that is a typical rahuvesh uh, kind of a thing and rahu also sort of gives taunts you know in terms of uh, you're not earning that well in life can so that disrespect and the inability to appreciate your partner is the prime reason for issues related to relationship jupiter related issues are you know you're very selfish you are you know thinking care of only about yourself mm. you uh, uh, you know come home you do your work and the partner is doing some other activity you come for uh, sit for dinner and those so very selfish kind of a uh, thing saturn is primarily related to jealousy nerves so those couples they're going abroad you know these fellows are doing this they brought these things in life and those kind of thing so every planet has a role sun if the sun is strong then it's primarily ego i am right what i said is right it is my uh, kind of it's my way or the highway kind of a thing right. so that also brings in uh, issues related to relationship and uh, finally moon moon also plays a very very solid uh, you know probably after rahu it is moon's uh, because moon is the planet of sexuality okay. sensuality if the moon is weak you have absolutely no interest in uh, relationship in physical intimacy in sex and all that and it's very very important in a relationship, relationship kind of a thing so moon is also a very very critical planet from a relationship point of view so now you need to identify which is the planet which is causing problem from a male and a female perspective okay. now suppose you identify that it is uh, moon related issues you have to strengthen that moon in the boys and the girls chart similarly if the issue with the uh, if it is saturn related you will have to figure out Uh, and strengthen saturn in that particular chart which will bring in uh, more harmony onto the system yes, kind of so that is a prime uh, relationship aspect here second important thing is anything related to tithi so tithi represents our strength of the relationship in the chart so so for example if you have a um, you know trayodashi uh, it is sarva mangala the devi is sarva mangala so if it is so every tithi has a devi so uh, so for example Uh, ashtami tvarita so every uh, there, there is a representation of devi lalita in every tithi so basically lalita sasnamam is fantastic for a tithi relationship okay. kind of thing so chanting lalita sasnamam is a very good remedy to strengthen your uh, tithi so based on your tithi suppose your tithi lord is say uh, mars or tithi lord is rahu now you have to figure out where is your seventh lord so seventh lord and tithi lord have a 6 8 or a 212 relationship then your you know ultimately your relationship is weak okay. you need to strengthen that relationship right. so suppose your tithi lord and seventh lord are in uh, you know 159 kind of a relationship or even 17 kind of a relationship then it's a very good uh, sort of a relationship this is when you overlap the boys overlap the, the boys chart. and the girls uh, not in your individual chart not but in the, when you overlap yes, when you overlap uh, overlap the chart so from that point of view tithi plays a very important uh, relationship and any corrections to tithi issues in the chart is primarily through lalita sasnamam okay so uh, suppose it's saptami mm. then uh, shivaduti shivaradhya shivamurti shivankari so um, suppose it, it is uh, you know uh, chaturdashi sarva mangala mangalye or uh, sarva mangala ma- mangalye shive sarvada sadike sarnetra so any tithi related issues there are specific mantras for it or in general you can chant the lalita sasnamam so that is a fantastic thing to do for a tithi kind of a okay so that strengthens that primarily strengthens the tithi portion of the chart 
now coming back to relationship uh, so if there is an issue in the chart it is better not to get married so it is primarily you need to figure that out from a horoscope matching kind of a perspective so from a horoscope matching kind of a perspective sama sapta yoga you have been partners for generations right. you will be partners for the next few generations across seven seas across seven oceans and those kind of across uh, saptasuras right. saptavarnas so sama sapta is one of the best second uh, and uh, the other important factors are your Uh, your mind. mental and mind kind of a so combination so moon being well the moon placed. being well placed uh, with respect to each other both in d1 and, and d9. d9 that is rashi and navamsha okay. and the third important aspects are whether there are you know infidelity related issues whether whether there is energy imbalances in the chart mm. so if there are energy imbalances suppose the you know both have excess of male energy it is uh, better friction not to get uh, uh, yes friction will be high it's better not to get married so yeah. ideally there has to be a composition of male and female energy from a male and a female perspective it the male energy could be in the female right and female energy could be in the male it need not which is still okay to, yeah which is still okay because it will get sort of uh, balanced, balanced from that perspective so there are various energies that you need to balance from a uh, overall uh, relationship uh, sort of perspective so uh, we briefly touched upon d9 right yes. like you always talk about d9 being an yes. important chart for yes. relationship uh maybe a little more insight into d9 yes let's say uh, moon is not very well placed in the d1 yes but if the moon is well placed in the d9 does that compensate yes it it totally compensates because there's a nija banga and it's well placed in d9 so when the uh, so moon from a relationship perspective it is basically compassion it is uh, the ability to bear children it is the ability to have a pleasured sexual life so these three are the important factors from a moon perspective so moon is well placed automatically these three things are sort of taken care in that relationship and all these three things are very very critical and important in a right relationship. so one other thing that you talk about is uh, uh, like doshas right like yes. saturn wish dosh like saturn yes. moon what do you do when your spouse has that particular dosha yes. so uh, when there when there is a you know dosha a specific dosha related to relationship you need to compensate that dosha so for example uh, specific example of saturn moon there will be disinterest in terms of physical relationship okay. from the partner's perspective right. so now that disinterest if it has to go it has to have a compensatory jupiter or a martian effect okay so if there is a jupiter or a martian martian mars is generally related to aggression passion. in passion right. related to physical intimacy so if there is a compensatory aspect of mars related to this particular thing it automatically compensates that Uh, low or a depression with related to physical intimacy okay. so automatically that compensatory planetary uh, influences are there in that dosh automatically okay. things will uh, sort of take uh, be taken care from okay. a partner's perspective got it so i think it is very important that you get your yes yes uh, charts matched yes, before you yes. get married so it it is highly recommended because we have uh, you know history of cases wherein you know uh, the people who are the richest who people who are the most knowledgeable people who are the you know most braver bravest people in this world you take any category of people they have gone wrong in relationship uh, right. ideally if logic prevails they shouldn't have gone uh, wrong in relationship so any category you take there are issues uh, related to relationship and people get divorced so ideally it is basically navamsha is getting activated it is not your logic it is something beyond our understanding so, and that understanding comes through primarily through astrology to a certain extent right. and it is you know when you spend 40 lakhs 50 lakhs for a wedding it is you know worthwhile spending uh, few a few thousands few hundreds to figure out whether that uh, there is a match in the chart so one of. last question is uh, generally they follow ashtakot right yes. or the dasha kot uh, yes. system too yes. uh, but we have noticed that 36 out of 36 is not yes. a happy marriage yes. or the it could be the other way around where uh, 15 out of 36 yes. could lead to a happy marriage can yes. you maybe touch upon that yes. a little bit so uh, basically ashtakot generally talks about it's an age old uh, tradition it talks about basically moment of the moon alone but uh, you know in a relationship the um, uh, moment of the moon alone is not good enough you know you need there are physical uh, issues physical aspects related to relationships so for, for example we talked about uh, in our sanatana dharma video right what is dharma so there are various aspects of dharma so my you know looking after my family is my dharma my looking after my house is my dharma 
so there are different aspects of dharma similarly in a relationship there are various aspects from a physical perspective which is also important right. not only the mental there are also various aspects from a emotional from a intellectual and uh, soul level that is you know comes into play and that comes into play primarily through shashti amsha and navamsha okay. and when those factors come you are in a dharma sankata primarily which right. what arjun faced uh and uh, primarily you need a krishna to solve that dharma sankata always that that uh, uh, a close friend like krishna is always required to you know we always face right so right. so for example uh, i need to go back to office i i need to f- finish my work in office but at the same time i have my uh, child to be taken to a birthday party it's it's a it's example at a very small level there is a dharma sankata there so there is uh, you need to figure out which one to go after right. so similarly even in uh, relationships even in marriage even in day to day life there are dharma sankatas which come every now and then and then you need to take a decision one way or the other or a combination of decision so that is possible primarily because you know all your, your sun moon lagna your atma karaka every force comes into play okay. and every force comes into play the decision is probably beyond you okay. it's important that you take uh, you know inputs and advice from all sources to figure out a good partner